We got just what you want. A sci-fi nation army coming through your screen. We'll bring you everything. From Lucasfilm to Roddenberry. We got Klingons, Vulcans, and the Borg, just to name a few. Or if you'd rather use the Force instead, well, that's up to you. But the Sci-Fi Nation Army will rise, cause we are one. Welcome, Alec. Hey, hey. <clears throat> How are you doing? Good, good. All right, well, I want to first thank you for being on this small little channel of mine here. My pleasure. And, uh, okay, so we have some people in the chat already, which is always nice to see. Uh, Sean Moore, uh, Trey from Acknar Comics, Dave G. Sound. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So, <clears throat> obviously, I've been following Axnar and, and you and your your live streams. Um, you have me at a disadvantage. You're not on <laughs> camera, and I am. Well, I did a test stream about 20 minutes ago with my, my old, old laptop, and the camera worked fine, but the uh, sound quality on the microphone just sucked <laughs> and it's so slow with the the hardware in it that i didn't want to use crappy equipment for the interview <laughs> no problem no problem but i do have a new mic and cam on the way so i'll be on cam more often. good 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 uh so where do you want to start do you want to start with uh i know you're doing a lot more live streaming lately yeah, as a matter uh, of fact, I need to let me. So I don't see the, the see. Oh, there we go. There are the live comments. There we go. Ah, Trey's here. Hey, Trey. Hey, Dave G. I think I. I and then Shrona Moore. I don't know. Uh, he's a friend. He's a part of the nerd community. Um, from like the. Like he watches Anti Tracker and Birdo Prey Five. <coughs> gotcha. So one of the things Trey does and that I've also been trying to do is bring more of the nerd community together. Right. I think that's something we all have in common. Absolutely. I'm all with, I'm, I'm with you on that, man. I'm totally with you. So do you want to uh, talk about um, your live streams? I mean, I with, with everything we're going through in the world today, you know, it, it's important to keep uh, the nerd community together and, um, but you've been doing more live streams uh, on Trek stuff and obviously some XNR stuff. And But just uh, you also, anytime you see a, a, a good and charitable cause, you, you promote that. Yeah, I, you know, I am literally as, you know, when you reminded me, are you ready in 20 minutes? I was like, ready for what? And, and then, because uh, um, that is like my life. It's like the things I planned on doing today – I'm not, I, I'm just starting to get down because this morning we had, um, someone, one of, one of our fans basically, you know, um, is, a is in the finance industry and he set up a, he said, Hey, I'm going to set up a call with some people who can help you financing the studio and productions and this and that. I was like, okay. And I, my attitude was like, okay, why not? And I never have any expectations in something like that. Um, and most of that is just I've heard it all, and 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 even if they are good, decent, honest people, well-meaning, a lot of times things fall through. It's not a priority, whatever. So I, I just anyway, I took the phone call this morning. I was like, and after it, I'm like, oh shit, I got like three hours worth of work now, because I had to produce a, you know, a high-level document for that like one two-page document about. Aries Studios, Axonar Productions, Aries Productions, you know, I had to do that. Uh -huh. And then I had to produce us, I had to do a spreadsheet based on 
if we want to, you know, where the finances for the studio are and how that would support a, a, its own building as far as raising money to create, to buy land and build a studio. So I'm none of that was on my plan. It was like 15 minute phone call, then I'm done. Nope. 15 minute phone call becomes a half hour phone call, which becomes three hours worth of work. All good. Right. But that means I haven't shipped anything today and I got 50 packages, that are, you know, need to go out. And tomorrow the coffee mugs arrive and there's another 30 packages that need to go out for that. So, um, I mean, the good news about the coronavirus is, well, there is no good news. The, the good news about social isolation is I wasn't going anywhere anyway. I got so much to do. Um, but as far as helping others, you know, so right now I am literally putting together the Axonar Dog Rescue Facebook page. Um, we actually had one. We called it Chihuahua Ranch, which is kind of, you know, we were kind of playing around with it. And now it's like, okay, this is going to be a thing, you know. We're going to raise money. We're going to, you know, we are, we have for the past year been helping other dog rescues. Let's put it down. Let's get all the photos up. We, we're, we're dealing with so many dogs now. It's like, I need to get, have a place to, to put all these. So, yeah, so that's kind of, that's, uh, that's what I've been doing that, you know, so, the, and that was after I, I was, I'm out walking Pee Wee, one of our dogs, and I'm talking to my friend on the phone who needs $10,000 for his film, which is amazing. And we're like working out the deal, like, okay, how do we promote you? And, and, and how does that help Aries Studios? And he's awesome. Mark, Mark Stephen Grove, who's one of our producers. Um, cool. You know, and, uh, and any one time we can help, like, you know, last month uh, or earlier this month, we helped this dog in Texas, who's a family dog who belongs to someone who does a lot of dog fostering. Times are tough. The dog needed a thousand dollars in surgery. It was going to be put down. She's like, Alec, I don't know what to do. And I haven't talked to her in, you know, six, nine months. I said, we'll help. We put together GoFundMe, bam, $1,100, dog gets saved. And and the dog is, you know, sleeps with the two little girls that are the daughters of, of Rebecca, the, the Rebecca Moore, the lady we held. But how, what a wonderful story. And that was action our fans, right? That, that that's was what a, community a, can, oh, I'm sorry, I just say that's the power of community when we all come together. Yeah, it is. And then last night, you know, one of our members who we all know, uh, she was in the hospital with pneumonia and uh, it basically bankrupted her. She couldn't even afford food this week. So I right in the middle of the stream, like, hey, everyone starts sending money, PayPal money to Val. And I don't know. She hasn't told me yet today, but I'm guessing we raised two hundred dollars for her so she can go out and buy food. Um, she she did say in the chat last night uh, she'll be able to buy groceries to last her until her her check comes in. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, it, you, you know, the we did the first thing we did was a fundraiser for a family that lost their house in a fire. That was like five years ago. That was how we came up with the emergency uh, response team patch for Axonar. But those are the kind of, you know, you do those things all the time um, and you want to do those. You want to help those people. Uh, you want to help where whoever. And there's, listen, there's so many people in need and it's not like we're Bill Gates or anything, but we do the little things that we can do. It, it's know, like you said last last night, you know, do unto others. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. Um, I think that's important. And I think, uh, um, you know, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I just think that's a motto to live by. I, it's um, Actually, my name, Alec, A-L-E-C, actually means helper of man. That, that And I have a little thing somewhere that says that. Um, oh, it's... It was over there. Anyway, because um, I believe it. I think, you know, I think I should live up to that. Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, I didn't I didn't know that's what your name meant, but but that's pretty yeah, cool. Oh, here, hold on. Here, let me show. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, there you go. I, can't, I don't know if you can see that, but. Oh, so, hold on. Well, hold on. Put it back up there, Al. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can. Uh, there, there you go. I uh, want to get it so you can. There you go. There you go. And uh, and the quote is uh, Proverbs three six: In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Um, so you know, I think that's. I'm a big. I'm a big critic of organized religion, and uh, I don't think it should be tax exempt. And um, I think, you know, I think. We're finding out now over the last three years, 
you know, how hypocritical um, organized religion is in this country. Um, and I always say it doesn't matter if you're a Christian or a Jew or you, or a Muslim or a Buddhist or a Shinto or a Hindu. They, they all have the, all these religions have some basic principles and it's all about how we help each other and treat each other. And those things are important. And, um, uh, you know, so I think we all should strive, you know, and no one's perfect and we all make mistakes and we're all sinners, but can we, you know, try and help our fellow man instead of being, you know, as, as many people say, rule number one, don't be a dick. Right. And I agree with that 100%. That's, you know, um, so I, in the description of the, the stream on the YouTube stream page, I put some links for X and R. I want to make sure I got them all here. I have Aerie Studios, uh, Aerie, uh, Aerie Studios, uh, store, uh, axnar.com and ariesdigitals.axnar.com. Yeah, I mean, right. The important ones are axnar.com because that's got both the link to donate, Aries Digital, and the link to the newsletter, which is the most important thing you do is subscribe to the newsletter. Um, and then ariesstudios.net is, is the Aries Studio. So you have Axnar Productions, which is Axnar, Aries Studios, which is the soundstage, which is the studio, two separate entities. Airy Studio is a not-for-profit profit corporation. Uh, Axonar Productions is an is a not-for-profit. You know, it's just it's just there for, to create Axonar. Um, but those are the two things. But the Airy Studio store on AiryStudios.net is where you can get all your cool Axonar swag. Um, Absolutely, and there's a lot of cool stuff on there. Yeah, it's it's really blowing up, and um, you know we we've got more stuff coming in. Coffee mugs are coming. The coffee metal coffee tumblers are coming in, twenty and thirty ounce. The pins are coming in, Aries, Hercules, Ajax. Uh, I got stickers coming in. I got more patches coming in. Um, yeah, so we're it's pretty exciting. And I see Trey throwing in the links. Thank you so much, Trey. He, he's always on top of his game over there. Oh, <laughs> Doesn't Trey's matter amazing. What he's Trey, Trey is amazing. And, and yeah, I, I love Trey. He's he's fantastic. Yeah, he, he's been really helpful with me, giving me a lot of tips and advice on how to go about doing things on here to help me grow my channel and, and the community even more, you know, cause that's, that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for community. Um, what do I get out of it? It helps me one relax and unwind. Well, that is a good cause, <laughs> right? Right. And two, you know, I'm a big science fiction nerd and I didn't want to limit myself just to like one specific show or, or movie, uh, franchise. So I went with the name sci-fi that way I can cover just about anything within the realm of sci-fi. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Keep, keep it broad. I, I, I'm with you. Um, so when I did the, the promo video, I'm not sure if you had a chance to see it, but I did a promo video for our interview and I think I sent you the, uh, the clip for one of your trailers that I put into that. Yes. And I hadn't, I, I had almost forgot about that one. I haven't seen it in so long. <laughs> Cause I know you're, you're working on, um, you have the trailer, but you're doing some edits to it. You said, yeah, we're working on it right now to make it a little better. Yeah. Which is awesome. And that's coming out during, uh, the two part, two 15 minute parts of Axon are coming out during dragon con. Well, we'll see. I mean, the listen, honestly, the coronavirus has really thrown a wrench in things. Um, and uh, so it's kind of hard for <laughs> it's really hard for us to know when we're going to be able to get to shooting the next. I mean, we got two days of shooting in L.A. and then we're done. And I don't know when that's going to happen right now. So. Right. No, I absolutely. So, that I understand. Yeah. 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 So it's it really is like stay tuned. We'll we'll let you know. And there's also an Axonar fan film that's supposed to be coming out before the release of the, the two-part Axonar. <clears throat> yes. Um, and that, that that interlude, which is Jonathan Lane's project. So yes, that's uh that I don't know I don't know what his plans are now. Um, based on you know, based on everything that's going on. I don't know if that's postponed stuff or not. 
which again is completely understandable. You know, we all want to stay safe and keep our loved ones safe. And you know, the, the oh, yeah. less the less chances we take of bringing something home, you know, the better. Oh, listen, I'm all uh, yes, I'm 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 all for that. Uh, I, I I agree. Okay, so I know a lot of people in the community still have questions and and if you don't want to go into this then you know by all means just say no i don't want to talk about it um but now there's still a lot of questions and false informations going around about what happened with axnar and cbs and a lot of the people in in the community i'm trying to bring together with axnar um haven't heard heard it firsthand from you well, a lot of people listen to what they read on the internet, and right? So uh, that's like, you know, if rule number one is don't be a dick, rule number two should be don't believe anything you read on the internet. Um, I'm, I'm constantly shocked. Uh, I mean, I admonished one of my good friends today because he always publishes right-wing nonsense from stupid websites. And I'm like, dude, the fact that that's on that website, which is I've never even heard of before, should tell you don't post it. It's probably bullshit, right? Um so I, I, it's like, can we just assume that just because you hear it, it's not true? That's the, the rule of thumb on the internet is if you hear it on the internet, it's not true unless you can independently prove it, um, unless it's from a great source. And, you know, right. so it goes back to like, don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you read that, you know, absolutely. So, you know, I just wanted to give you a opportunity here on, on my channel to, you know, just kind of put it out there. This is what happened. This is what it is. This is what it is now. And I know you have certain NDAs that you have to go by. So, well, I, listen, I mean, there's uh, honestly at this point, the, it's we settled our lawsuit in 2017, 13 months after they sued us. Um, we get to make two more 15 minute episodes. Um, we have a settlement agreement we have to follow that in some ways follows the guidelines. Um, and, you know, I haven't, there was a big dust up in October because um, they sent us a, the, I think, eighth or ninth notice of breach letter. Like their lawyers were just generating, their lawyers were on a regular basis generating billable hours by like pay attention to all the bullshit, the haters. I mean, because the, the idiots who are the haters over on Axe Monitor were constantly sending every little thing I do, they'd send to these lawyers. And then these lawyers would write up a letter and say, oh, you breached, you know, you breached the settlement agreement in, in all these ways. Now, one, that's pathetic that those the haters do that. But what else do they have to do in their lives? It's, it's pathetic. Well, they're honestly but, not very happy with themselves if that's all they no, have. It, no, no, no. It's pathetic. And you, we would laugh at them. You know, second of all, the lawyers take it and then put it in a letter. I'm like, OK, well, good. One, the lawyers are charging CBS, you know. $800 an hour. So God bless. You're costing CBS money. I'm all for that. Right. Um, the more pain you cause CBS, even if it comes out to, you know, I mean, CBS spent over a million dollars suing me and I chuckle at that. I'm like, well, serves you right. You didn't have to sue me. It cost you a million dollars. That's your problem. Um, that was a bad business decision. That my, not my fault. I, I gave you every opportunity to work out with me and you chose not to. So, so now the lawyers are sending me these letters and over the past three, what, three years since the settlement, they've sent me like eight or nine letters. Well, in October, um, one of our, our, our former PR guy who was still on the distribution list for these letters shared that letter with Rob Burnett and Carlos, what's his face, who does acts of hate, whatever that is. Anyway, and they published it, and it's like, oh, Axnar is going to get sued again. Well, first of all, both these guys are idiots who don't know who who wouldn't know the inside of a lawsuit from from Adam, right? And it's and it's like they, you know, the, the nonsense they spew, it's ridiculous. It's like, first of all, it's a letter. Their lawyers are sending me a letter saying you breached a settlement agreement. Now, what they're not privy to is that I've got ten days from the time I get one of those letters to either address it and cure it, or Tell them they're full of shit. Right. 90% of the time I told their lawyers, you know, I've gotten eight or nine letters over the past three years. 90% of the time I tell them you're full of shit. <laughs> Pound sand. Get the fuck out of my face. Right. right. 
I, excuse my language. I, I, um, but it's like, you're full of shit. Now, if it's something legitimate, like in the letter in October, our PR guy had, had, he had said we were an independent Star Trek film. All right. No, we're not right. We're a Star Trek fan film and our settlement agreement dictates how we refer to ourselves. He didn't know. No, he was new. He, he put this out there. And I said to the law in my response to the lawyers, there was like, I don't know, 10 things. They let's say there were 10 things they said I was doing wrong. I bre you breached the settlement agreement in these 10 ways. Well, and maybe it was in that letter. There was like four things, I think three things. And I said, ah, you're right. We did. That was a mistake on our part. We, and we corrected it before I sent the letter back to him. It was corrected. It was online. So we just right, edited it. Boom. Done. Right. The other things. And I don't even remember what they were. I was like, no, nope, you're wrong. Oh, they, you were like, you can't publicly fundraise. Your Patreon is a breach of the settlement agreement. Wrong. The Patreon is with Airy Studios, which is a separate corporation, not part of the settlement agreement. Pound sand. Right? So, um, so let me ask you, what what are the future plans that you have uh, for Airy Studios? Well, we want to keep it going. After we finish Axonar and shooting Axonar, well, we're finished with Axonar shooting at the studio pretty much, some behind-the-scenes stuff. But we've got... You know, I've got two projects in the works and work with other people, so we want to keep filming there. So the idea is to buy some land, build a building, and keep filming there, kind of like, you know, like Glenn Wolf did up in, in Arkansas. Absolutely. Let me just – to to I would just want to circle back and finish the thought about the – law. you know, also people were like, oh, CBS is going to sue Axonart again. They can't sue us again. That's a settlement agreement. And this is – again, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut the frack up. They can't sue us. It, CBS would have to basically, they send us a letter. We say no. They they feel you're still breaching the letter. And then they feel, and then they take us to arbitration. It's a mediation, arbitration. They would have to then take us to arbitration, which is, and if they lose, they would have to pay all the fees. So they don't want So they'd that. be opening up a big can of worms. Big can of, and also, look, CBS, we're an annoyance to CBS, Right. Back then, there was no Star Trek Discovery. There was, you know, there was no Alex Kurtzman doing Star Trek. And this was all they had to, you know. And some the higher-ups at CBS thought, oh, well, let's just sue Alec out of existence. Well, that didn't work, did it? And they, they spent the 50th anniversary of Star Trek suing me. The big story, what's the big story of the 50th anniversary of Star Trek? Not Star Trek Beyond was released. Oh, they were suing their fans. Yeah, Great. that's what I got out of it. That's I'm not like, a really good CBS. look. So what yeah. are they going to do now? Take me to arbitration and again, look like the big guys, you know, because listen, what did I do yesterday or a day before? I posted about how Star Trek was free on CBS All Access. Picard was free. Go sign up. I'm a good, I'm a good citizen of Star Trek. You know, I'm, oh, not, yeah. one, I'm not like. No, you and you've said on your streams, you know. We, we talk Star well. Trek we talk, Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. We, we're honest. We talk. I tell you what I don't like, but. For the most part, we're really good citizens of Star Trek. It's, we're not like Midnight's Edge or that redheaded harpy or, you know, or uh, or Doomcock or others who are just constantly, incessantly bashing CBS. Hey, God bless you. Go for it. I'm not going to tell you to stop, but that's not who we are. Nope. We're, we love Star Trek. And so we may have, we have issues with Discovery. Not many with Picard, but we love Picard. But that's not... I'm, I don't want to go on the air and just bash stuff. That doesn't do me any good. That doesn't make me happy. I want to talk with, with cool people, Herb Lutman, Dave G. Sound, Trey, you, all these great people. I want to talk about Star Trek, what we love, right? And that's what we love to do. So can you uh, tell us anything about either, either of the projects that you have in the works right now? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Is there anything uh, going on you can tell us about? That we um, might not have heard. No. Okay. Yeah, I will. I mean, right now, <laughs> no, not, not a problem. Axonar, and and increasing our streams and ma and making our streams better and better, along with Trey. Like Trey and I are trying to build the Axonar Comics Axonar Stream live stream brand. That's where we're. That's what we're focused on right now. So, you know, as I um, uh, as I keep now, saying, please share share our streams. Get online. We're you know I'm, I'm trying to. You get a couple of people to work as producers to start lining up guests. I want to have a different guest on every stream. And with two streams a day, that's a lot. Right. Cause you have a, uh, is it 
trek in the morning. And morning the morning trek at the 10 morning a.m. Trek, Eastern, yeah. and trek after dark at nine or ten p.m. Uh, plus Trey this week is doing the Menard birthday celebration week. Yes, he is. Which is amazing. I try to catch that every night, even if it's only for a few minutes. I try to catch part of it. Uh, oh yeah, Trey's awesome, and so is and so and so is Vance Owen. We love him. Vance is amazing. I've had him on the channel a few times, um, and Trey is also amazing as well. Oh yes. Whoop. You got. You're trying to. There you go. You were trying to come in twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. All right. So how how can we uh, here in the sci-fi community help you out or help Axonaro? Really? I know obviously you said share the streams, but yeah, uh, really that's the big thing right now. Getting more and more people to know about it, to donate to Axonar, um, because I really can't. I can't. I'm not allowed to promote donating to Axonar, so you guys can promote donating to Axonar. You know that's that's what's important. Um, we we we've raised eight thousand of the thirty thousand we need so far. We need to raise twenty two thousand more. And uh, I know a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, you did a thing during one of your live streams. You're like, hey, if you, um, I don't know if you were doing it through Super Chats or, or how you were doing it that night, but if you do this, I'll throw in this for you. And when you do that, it's really cool because all you, all you do is you email a link for the Aries Studio store, and it's a $3 flat shipping fee. And whatever incentive you decide to send out, the only thing they pay for is the three dollars shipping. Yeah, that Which was. I, uh, I that think was, is a, that, yeah, we because we have these DVDs around, and you know, uh, um, uh, the, we we've basically fulfilled all the orders, so the DVDs are extra. So um, I like getting, you know, and also most people want Blu-rays, so the DVDs, you know, they're not. Uh, it's not a Blu-ray, but it's still pretty cool. It's still XNR, and it's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the way I feel. Man, I know. See, I've listened to your stream, so so I've heard you speak on a you know a lot of things. And is there anything that that you want to say? I mean, I, I'm sorry, I literally had like no prep time for this, even though. No, don't worry about it. No, listen, I I think. Um, you know, it, it's great when we, we get to, I, I think everyone's learning. By the, here, here's what I'll tell you. How, how much do you love StreamLab? StreamYard? StreamYard. I mean, StreamYard, yeah. Actually, I, I find it very functional for what I need. And if there are certain... Uh, You're not even using it. You're not even using enough of it. You're not using highlighting the comments. You're not using banners. I, well, I can highlight the comments. Um Yeah. I mean, but the you, banners, I still have to learn how to do. It's easy. <laughs> Click on banner. Yeah, it's so easy. It's ridiculous. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. And I use it all the time. The comments is the best part. You know how to highlight a comment and hit show. Oh, yeah. That's like their Trey. There you go. To stop it Trey. Up, you know. <laughs> well, right? Trey, Trey, you really are amazing. My so this, and this is what's, you know, that's what's beautiful. Yeah. I, uh, um, is that you can do that? Um, I we stream to two different locations. We stream to Facebook Live to our Facebook page and through YouTube. Uh, I pay twenty dollars a month, thirty dollars a month, twenty five dollars a month. I pay yeah, twenty five dollars a month. Twenty five. That. Yep, that's what I pay. And it's worth it because numbers is where we're at right now. Driving our numbers up is really important. So yeah, absolutely. And uh, Corona said, "Sounds like a song." <laughs> And he's got Maximilian as his icon. I love that too. I love that. You need to leave those up longer. Leave, when you highlight highlight a comment, leave it up until you highlight someone else's comment. Because it's go. going to remind you to put another comment up sooner. Like, um, you know, I, I, I know you're not getting a lot of great comments here. Come on, guys. Step it, step up the commenting. Um, and where'd Trey go? Trey's, Trey's off getting a sandwich right now. By the way, Trey's wife, Nicole, is awesome. She's I've really not awesome. had the pleasure of meeting her, but she's he awesome. has nothing really but shy. Good things to say she about it. Her, he can't get her on a stream. She's really shy, um, but he, sh you know, he should. Um, and uh, me and Trey do have that in common. Mrs. Sci-Fi Nation. Her name is Nikki, which I thought was kind of cool. Oh, and fun. but she she does like to come on a streams with me and my audience. 
I think I get more ratings when she's on the stream, you know, than when I'm doing this by myself. But <laughs> said so that's why I bring Crystal on. People would rather look, would look at Crystal than me. Uh, number one sci-fi has Speak a of the devil. Uh, number one sci-fi has a question for you. Would oh. Alec do other sci-fi fan films from other franchises besides Star Trek in the future? Hold on one. Hold Hey, hold on one second. Hold yeah, on one not second. a problem. Crystal's talking to me. Sorry. You're what? Sorry, guys. You're taking, I, have, I have Mama and Petey. You're taking them with you? Yeah. They jumped in the truck. I can't get them out. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, that's why Crystal's just going to see moms. Um, so, oh, number one sci-fi. Would Alec do other sci-fi fan films from other franchises besides Star Trek in the future? No. <laughs> that's the answer. No. I might do an Orville. I, I don't know. I love Orville. I really love Orville. Um, so JP Poole and I have talked about that. Um, but you know, I'm kind of tired of doing things that I don't get paid for. You know, um, this is a long, hard slog here. Uh, Axnar, right? I mean, we've been doing it for years and it's my dream project. Um, I'm not sure as much as I love Orville, I'm not sure I could get as excited about it as, as I do for Axnar. I know I couldn't, but and so you have to judge how much passion you have for a project and can you, you give it what it's due because Orville deserves to be treated with the dignity and respect that Axnor is, right? Absolutely. So, but but I kind of, you know, if we could get the uniforms on, I, I would love to do the whole interview thing, like maybe about the the, the birth of the, uh, what do they call it in Orville? The uh, Rep Union? The Galactic, un Galactic Union? Galactic Union, yeah. yeah. Um. Mountains of Elysium, which is Shonmore's other account, uh, says, have you tried live streaming on Twitter? The numbers no, might yeah. not be as large, but it opens up to you to another audience. Never even thought of it. That's a great idea. It's a great idea. Well, I'll try it one day. I'll try it one day. And I know if you go to the uh, the more expensive package with uh, StreamYard, I think you can stream to five different places. Yeah, that's like $40 a month something yeah 40 or i'm not sure the exact number but i know it's more than a 25 i, I can 40, afford but if you do it on pay on a monthly basis it's more like i pay 25 because i don't want to pay 250 for the year right i just right. want to pay 20 dollars 20 dollars a month by the but way think, mountains a couple of you guys uh make sure you subscribe to the action our youtube channel and you you have the the there's actually three action our channels the, the main action our channel which is where you're doing your live streams. And then you obviously have uh, Trey over at Axnar Comics doing all the wonderful things he's doing. And there's Axnar Live. Yeah, well, uh, the Axnar Comics channel is not part of Axnar, right? So that's not, I don't have any control over that. That's Trey, right? And it needs to stay Trey because we don't want him to get involved with Axnar, right? Because then he would be subject to Axnar settlement agreement. I'm like, Trey, go do whatever the hell you want. Um, Axonar Live, yeah, was we, we wanted to move the streams off of the Axonar channel, but, you know, and we ultimately said, no, nope, that's not the best idea. Well, let's keep it on the Axonar main channel because once we're done with Axonar, we want to transfer this all our fans over to our next project, right? So let's keep them going. That's um, There you go. Thank you, Mountains of Elysium. And yeah, I'm not a tweet, Twitter, tweeter, whatever either. I have it uh, mainly for for the channel. I'm not a big tweeter, but anytime I see uh, I see you go live, I see Trey go live, anyone else I follow that's in the nerd community that you know is trying to put their channel out there and help grow community. I'll I'll tweet their streams out there. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Kronos doesn't like to tweet. He's just stubborn, he says. <laughs> and I think, yep, there we go. Trey put the link up for the main Axe and Iron channel. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Trey. So, yeah, so if you had any way to bring a bunch of smaller channels together, under like an umbrella, like say they don't all have to be part of the the same uh, brand, so to speak. But if they could be brought together under an umbrella, where we could all benefit each other, help grow community, 
uh, try to curb some of the live streaming over top of each other. What what would you say about that? Would you have any ideas about that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it, it has potential. Um, you know, I think the key is the the, the key is. How do, how do you make sure you benefit each other, right? And and everyone needs to do a certain amount of work to get a certain amount of audience. Um, I like, for example, I work with Trey on that regard. Like, I won't step on Trey. And the reason is because Trey is like oh, Axonar super fan number one, and he's my friend. And he's done an amazing job putting a huge amount of effort to get to 1,300 or 1,400, whatever, however many subscribers he has. And... Um, you know, he's doing Axonar, and a lot of my fans are his fans, right? It's 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 basically crossover. So right. it doesn't make sense to step on him or for him to step on me, right? So we coordinate. Um, but there's a lot of smaller channels like you. Or, like me, exactly. Or, you know, I try not to step on J.P. Poole, you know, just because he's such a good friend. Oh, he's an amazing guy. I love his channel. I love J.P. He's awesome. We, we've done a lot of stuff together. He's really helped me. I'm, I'm part of his Patreon campaign. Uh, so, yeah. So th that's it. But, you know, you, you start, if I put a, if you put a, you know, if you put a dozen of smaller channels together, then the question is, well, I, that, all of a sudden it's a minefield and I, I, I can't, went, I can't stream when I want to stream because you're doing it or that. It's, it's really gets tough. And what you have to do is, you, you really ultimately have to rely on the smaller channels working with within the, the bigger channels ecosphere. So basically you become the little remora on the big shark cleaning off the, you know, cleaning, cleaning the big shark off and growing that way. Um, and, and so that's what I, I want to do. I want to be there and I want to talk to and come on your stream and, and stuff. But what I want to make sure is that, you know, all of you little guys can be part of a bigger ecosphere, but it also at the same time can't limit what we can do. Right. I love helping JP. I mean, I love sending JP things, uh, you know, and, and getting and uh, promoting him in this and that, because he's got like 30,000, I think something like that. And I want him to get bigger. Um, no, that, that makes perfect sense. I mean, and he can help us obviously because he's got uh, most of his people probably are in Axonar subscribers. So, you know, so yeah, so I, I think the big thing is goodwill, just right. Share the goodwill, right? So, I, I have a couple more questions for you. Yeah. Uh, what new stuff are you planning on adding to the Aries Studio store? Um, so, we've got mugs. Coffee mugs, coffee tumblers, right? Metal coffee tumblers, 20 and 30 ounce with the USS Aries logo on them. We have um, enamel pins. We have three types of enamel pins, the Aries, the Ajax, and the Hercules. We have a sticker sheet with all sorts of cool stickers on it. Um, we have the um, Daedalus class refit patch and then a couple other patches. So those are kind of the short-term things. Uh, oh, and bags. We're working on, on uh, backpacks and uh, computer bags. So those are all the things we're looking to add right now. And what are the proceeds from the store go to pay for? Rent. I mean, we're we we get about twenty six hundred a month off our Patreon, and um, that's just the you know, and our rent is thirty seven hundred a month plus utilities. We're over four thousand a month, so you got to make up that fourteen hundred dollars a month. So the store makes helps make that up. Absolutely, and that's a a great idea. Um. Are the, so are that I know you had axe boxes are, are those still a thing or are they still around you know they're still in the store I haven't promoted them lately but we're doing I keep every, every once in a while someone buys one and it's kind of fun to do because I get to throw a lot of stuff in and I, I really want to make sure someone opens it and we're like oh this is so cool right look at all the stuff I got you know for 50 bucks or 25 bucks or 100 bucks whatever yes challenge coins uh Yes, I just started working on the challenge coin this week, as a matter of fact, because we now have a design for it. So, yes, challenge coins. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing that up, Trey. I heard Alec talk about it in his live stream and show a couple of um, possible, you know, designs for it. So that's awesome that you brought that up. Yes, yes, yes. All good. Yeah, yeah that's good. 
Well, let's see. I'm about 40 minutes in. Wow, really? Time okay, time flies. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> um, Always. Uh, let's see. I'm, and I'm like I said, I'm working at the same time. Oh, not not a problem. Uh, Herb Bluntman, uh, fan of Axnar, and I'm I'm glad he found his way over to my community. Uh, says JP does Thursdays on YouTube. It started on the Orville pre-show explosion. Now he does Picard since Orville isn't uh, quite back yet. Which is fine. I mean, you know, you, you got to have something to fill in the, you know, gaps between seasons. So, yeah, I'll have to, you matter. I'm not, that's good to know. So, let me, I'm going to send a message to, uh, to JP. Did anyone know what time his stream is tonight? I believe they said 8 p.m. Oh, right there it is. Herb Bluntman. Uh, tonight, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern. 8 to 10. So, we will go, um, I'll start at 10. I'll schedule that right after you and I get off. I'll schedule it here on your on, on StreamYard. Yep, not a problem. Uh, Cinnabon Bunny, uh, another uh, friend of the channel. Sorry it's late. Did you guys already say when uh, XNR is coming out at all? There, there, there is a tentative timeline for it. Right. All depends on coronavirus. So, But this year, let's just say this year. How's that? Stay tuned. By there the way, you if you had paid attention to the... Uh, our our accent our trek after dark yesterday you would have seen our bunny running back and forth in the hallway there you know, he yes. had out he had he had out time yesterday and was uh he was running around the hallway and i, I gave him some air time. i picked him up and gave him some air time too cinnabon has uh two bunnies that that's how he i'm guessing he picked his his name but uh strawberry and cinnabon and he does these streams he just calls them uh bunny streams where he'll put the cam on the bunnies and sometimes he'll open up the stream yard chat, but um, before I stopped working to take care of the missus, I'd be at work stressed out and I'd see the bunny stream come on and I'd just sit there and watch the bunnies and it was very relaxing. <laughs> yeah, our, our bunny is our bunny is awesome. Uh, I'm, now I'm, uh, now I'm, I'm messaging with Damaris, um, the mother of my godsons, because she's a graphic artist. By the way, if anyone has graphic artwork and needs someone really good, she was high-end professional, um, worked for Color Reflections, which is a very well-known franchise uh, here or on the East Coast. If you're in the XR name, I made the XR main channel a mod, so you can throw links in, Alec. Oh, really? Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, 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 I guess I can't. All right. Uh, XR Comics, how about challenge coins in the shape of pizza, or would that be more of a no bread production fans? Well, I, I think for, for Vance, it'd have to be pizza roll shaped because he loves pizza rolls. Dude, who doesn't love pizza rolls? I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Pizza rolls. Now, damn. Damn you. I do. Uh, I do. I Cinnabon do. would like to know, is it going to be basically a scaled down version of the original idea or was it completely changed after the, the settlement? He, I mean, he, it's basically going to be um, just like Prelude to Axnar. But now we tell the story of the war. So we, which, pick well, up, we pick up after the end of Prelude and we tell two more. In two more 15-minute episodes, we tell the story of the war. Which Prelude was... That still blows me away to watch that. I, I still get goosebumps when I watch that. <laughs> Thank you. It's just, that's how you know something is actual, you know, quality made, you know, with, with the, the, the fans in mind. And, you know, the way you were, had the characters portrayed, it's not only, you know, the, the level of talent you had on it, which obviously there, there was tons of great talent there. And... But it's the the way you put it together. It's a fan film, and you actually made it for the fans. Yeah, I, I well, and the the thing is, we are fans, right? Um, we're we're fans ourselves, um, and so I listen. Like I always say to people, I say, "Hey, you can't out geek me." Like you want to talk Star Trek, you, you can't figure out shit that I haven't figured out already cuz we're we're all fans and we all have that same warped way of thinking right so you know you want to talk about um well wait a second why 
Why are the why do the ships kind of look like J.J. Abrams ships from the first movie? Well, I believe in those. I believe in the theory of parallel development. So if you're in a parallel universe, the ships are probably going to look kind of similar. And since we haven't seen any other ships from before TOS p- period, after Enterprise, we got to use something. So we use the one that's available. So these are ships that you saw in the 2240s, right? In mm-hmm. in the Kelvin verse. But we what what we did was made them more like our universe, so more TOS style, right? With the nacelles, we changed the nacelles. Right there, you go. That's me being a geek. You know, people say, "Well, wait a second. Why does this Klingon have ridges on his far head?" In TOS, Klingons didn't have ridges. The Klingons you saw in TOS didn't have ridges. That doesn't mean there weren't Klingons with ridges at the time of TOS. If you pay attention to Affliction and Divergence, the two episodes of Enterprise that deal with the Klingon augment virus, you'll hear that millions of Klingons were affected, not billions and billions. Because there were billions in the Klingon Empire, just and, millions of Klingons and were affected. Worf had a line about that to Odo in Trials and Tribulations on D, on Space Station K seven. Yes, he did. He yes, said, he "We did. don't talk about that. We don't talk about it." There you go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah. There you go. What else can I help you with? As I'm uh, right now, I'm looking at <laughs> logos for our, for our dog rescue. Well, so is interlude bridging the gap between prelude and what we're gonna see coming out later this year? Uh, yes. Okay. Interlude picks up at uh, literally a second after prelude ends. L- l- interlude literally shows you what those D7s were shooting at. Which, or firing by the way, torpedoes at the yeah the trailers are still amazing too. I had a hard time finding them on the the main Axnar page YouTube page, but I know they're in there. Uh, what's the ad trailers for what interlude? No, no, not interlude. I I'm, yeah, there, there wouldn't be trailers for that, but I I meant like all the Axnar prelude trailers and the trailers you had come out since then. Uh yeah, um, because we're gonna. We kind of want to don't want, well, soft sell it until the new revised trailer comes out. Oh, no, not a problem, man. <laughs> you, you obviously know more about what you're doing with that than you know we do. So, yeah, and I have no complaints about it so far. Is there anything you want to? Um, I don't know. Promote or or bring up or elaborate on or. No, just let everyone know to come sign up for our newsletter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. There you go. And hit the notification icon so you get notifications. Um, that, absolutely. The, the sharing and the, the um, word of mouth is really what makes, you know, everybody aware of what, you know, what's out there. And I, I think this community is really, really good about that. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, we're also lucky. We got we got great people like Trey, who are just you know fanatical Axnar supporters and 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 support it because, well, you know, I, I mean, we we have fun what we're doing. I mean, you know, we're we're all doing Star Trek. I mean, let, let's let's face it. So this is 2020. We got sued. Um, 16, 17, 18, 19, a little over four years ago, right? 2000, December 30th, 2015 was when we got sued. Okay. In that time, we produced hundreds of hours of video. Um, we've had three different shoots to shoot Axonar. We've created a channel, a YouTube channel with 90,000 visitors, uh, subscribers. Um, and we do two shows a day two streams a day right now um we spawn axon our comics trey McElwain, only because of his passion and love for this project jonathan lane same thing jonathan lane's fan film factor exists because axon supported him in the beginning and he does fan film friday on our page look at all the everything that we've created we the axiverse has created i don't mean alec i mean the axiverse right he, as i always say axon is a lot of people so all of us look at what we've created. What have the haters created in the past four years? Fucking shit. 
Yep. <laughs> they haven't done shit except hate on Axonar and Alec Peters. Are they any better off? No. Have they made more friends? I mean, they had one of their one of their people had a medical medical issues and couldn't afford his bills. Did a GoFundMe. He raised like nothing. They couldn't even raise money for a fellow hater. Well, it just goes to show you, hate doesn't beget anything. Hate other than more hate. You know, love, right. and passion creates value for people. And Star Trek has always been about uh, the human condition and how humans are able to see their flaws and improve upon themselves. Yeah. And I think that's one of the lessons that even with the Star Trek we have now, you know, you might not like Discovery, but it still has some of that truth to it about, guess what? You know, we're, we're humans, and regardless of if we have aliens on our crew, we're still going to respect each other. Yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I no, I agree. I, I don't know. There's so many lessons to be learned from Star Trek, and it amazes me people who consider themselves fans of the show who don't learn those lessons. Right? It's crazy. Well, that's the ones you were talking about earlier, and, you know, unfortunately, they have their own echo chambers. So. They do. Gets back to what you said about, pe you know, people who, uh, you know, who believe all the nonsense they, 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 they read on the Internet. I, you know, it's not my job to correct every more. I, I mean, it's not, sometimes the stuff people say, it's just incredible, you know. Uh, you, you can lead a water to horse, but you can't make them drink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I got an email the other day from someone, and they were – I mean, they were bitching about not getting their patches. Well, I haven't gotten anything from you guys. And I'm like, have you been paying attention to anything, to all the updates, over 100 updates on Kickstarter, hundreds and hundreds of articles on our website, hundreds of posts on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on YouTube? Have you been paying attention to anything? And if the answer is no, then don't come to me with an attitude because I really, I, I don't want, I, you know, people are like, well, he's a donor. You should get, no, don't come to me with an attitude. If you haven't done your job, don't come bitching at me because I know when I donate to a project, one or two things happens. It's a fan film and I don't care. I, here's the money. Don't even give me anything. Uh, guys, I don't want stuff in my life. Just keep it, save the money, put it towards your project, right? One. Yep. Or two, it's like I bought this pair of headphones, this noise-canceling headphones. It took like four years for them to get it to us. And I was nice. Well, I think twice I sent them an email saying, hey, guys, what's up? You know, which is basically me my way of saying, look, guys, I don't want to have to read through 25 different updates to understand. Just real quick, what do I need to know? But I'm very nice about it, right? So mm -hmm. all the people who – or they say, oh, I didn't know this was still going. Seriously? Okay, so you don't pay attention to anything we do. All right. You know, I just I Meanwhile, I've been busting my ass for 5 years. Right? I mean, I don't have a job. This is what I do. This, this is why this you know, I have my own business that I take care of that has thankfully made me some money, but other than that, you know, uh you know, I'm, I I recently a company's been recruiting me really heavily to come work for them. And, uh, but you're you're happy doing this. This is what you love to do, though. And I'm like, look, guys, I don't need your job. You better make me a good, a really crazy offer because I don't need your job. I love what I'm doing, and if I do your job, that means I got less time to work on this stuff. And, and really, it, it's hard to put a price on taking you away of doing something that you love. Exactly. Exactly. You know. So I just talked to my lawyer about it today, and you know he. He's going to, I'll let him negotiate the deal. Uh, that's probably the best thing to do. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry especially about Especially considering, you know, I mean, I, I know you deal with stuff there in your, your office most of the day, from what I understand. And that's not just, you know, the um, fulfilling store orders, which you do right there. Um, I've seen you, you've done streams where you're boxing stuff up and shipping out and... <laughs> Sometimes the people that you're shipping to are in the chat and you're like, oh, hey, I just made your label. Here, here it is. And exactly. 
And, uh, and yeah, like Trey says, uh, the fact that you don't want stuff is weird. I, I think that's just the, the mark of a, a charitable human. I got too much stuff in my life. I, I want less stuff. I, I honestly want less stuff in my life because stuff doesn't make you happy, guys. It doesn't. And uh, I, I got to say thank you to Trey because, like I said, I had zero prep time for this. And he, he's been helping me out on Twitter DMs with some of the questions. So <laughs> thank you, Trey. You're amazing, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Trey is, Trey is awesome. Trey is awesome. We're coming up on the hour mark, so we're going to wrap this up real quick. I know you're you're a busy guy, Alex. So um, everybody, please subscribe to the Axe in our main channel, and uh, you know, go ahead and uh, put those websites out there again, Alex. That people need what where they need to go so they can get news about Axe I'll leave that to Trey because he's really good at it. Because I have there no you way, go, right now. I have no way. To, I don't know how to comment here. You can actually, if you're on the StreamYard page and you're on comments, you can see the comments going by. You can type down in that box so you don't have to go to the actual YouTube there, page. There, oh, you know what it is? I'm on, um, well, maybe it's because I'm on Face. Uh, I'm on uh, Firefox. Uh, what, what happened here? There, there we go. Ah. Oh, what happened? Oh. Well, you're still here, so. Am you, I? You okay. haven't, yep. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So uh, and there is Trey there. putting in the links because he is awesome. Yeah, because Trey is awesome. We all agree. Trey is awesome. Well, before I started this channel, just, just real quick, and I don't mean to embarrass you, Trey, but, you know, um, all I had was my cell phone. And he said, you know what? Vance Major started out, he made fan films with a cell phone. I'm like, well, okay, I can record videos and upload them then. And if it wasn't for Trey encouraging me, I probably wouldn't even have started this channel. Right? And I just started in October of 2019. And have come as far as I have in that short amount of time. I honestly believe if it wasn't for Trey and his encouragement and the community spurring me on, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, uh, listen, I would not be nearly as good at, as I am now if it wasn't for Trey. Trey is, you know, I, I think the only thing I have on Trey is I found StreamYards through Jeff Fagan, our DP, and now I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get Trey to use it because it's that freaking good. It's like, I will not go back to OBS. Do, do uh, you do you like it better than OBS? Oh, way better. Way, 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 way better. Yeah, way better. Uh, so much easier. And you, again, and for stuff like this, you just popped up one of the comments. Um, yeah, I, I Facebooked you and said. Can't do that in OBS. No. <laughs> you got to go to the YouTube stream page. You got to get this ID number. And I have no idea where the yeah. heck that even is. So. Yeah. Number one sci-fi says, Alec, is there a story behind picking Ares as a ship name? It actually is. It originally was going to be called the Ajax. Um, but at the time when I started, there was Starship Ajax was a Star Trek fan film that was in production. It never got made, but I was like, all right, that name's taken. Let me figure it out. I got Ares. I like Ares. God of War makes more sense, right? And then that's why I made Ajax Sonya's ship. So there's this. There you go. But that's pretty cool. And uh, I want to thank you once again, Alec, for being here. Uh, means the world to me. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing up in the chat. And anybody that watches this on the replay later, uh, we we really do appreciate every single member of our community. Oh, yeah. yeah listen, everyone, everyone starts somewhere, and it's it's fun just to begin and, and grow it and see where it goes. And just stay at it and stay vigilant. And the fact that, you know, you literally say you're no better than anyone else, no matter where they're at on the platform or in life. I think I think that speaks volumes about a person right there. Dude, I'm just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Right? We're all just fans. So with that, everybody, I'm going to say uh, thank you once again, Alec. Thank you, Trey, for being amazing with the links in the, in the chat Trey. there, my friend. Trey's and the man. 
I'm going to go ahead and roll some credits. Thank you all. Take care. We got just what you want us. A sci-fi nation army coming through your screen. We'll bring you everything. From Lucasfilm to Roddenberry. We got Klingons, Vulcans, and the Borg, just to name a few. Or if you'd rather use the Force instead, well, that's up to you. But the sci-fi nation army will rise, could be your one. Hey everyone, if you like what you just saw, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and if you can, donate. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch us. Until next time, guys. Thanks.